Welcome to Bayhawk Country, featuring your 2010 Major League Lacrosse Champion, Chesapeake Bayhawks! Boston and Chesapeake both two and one, both hoping to break away from the pack. And Abbott works swiftly into fire and score in the first 13 seconds. There's Combs, he fires and scores. Chris Eck all the way, stopped by Garrity. Better. Sidesteps small, he gets to the crease. Whoa! Inside the Chesapeake, a team that's had so much trouble at the expense of the Boston Cannons in recent years, going to exact some revenge in week four. Chesapeake hangs on. Chesapeake is in charge of the New Balance standings as we reach the midway mark of the regular season. Danny Gladding, good face dodge inside. Schwartzman got just enough of that. To Westerville fires and scores. Brown continues the hot streak. Matched up with Reynolds, runs by him and scores. The Bayhawks, their only prior loss to the Chicago Machine, tack on another one. Grant Jr. inside, bump shot, score! Billy Gladding, good feet all behind the back. Huntley with his second of the day. The Toronto Nationals have back-to-back -back victory. They down Chesapeake by the final count of 17-14. Defeated the Chesapeake Bayhawks 12 to 10 and two thirds of the regular season complete. Both Boston and Chesapeake are major players in this race, so this game is huge. Rabel on the jump shot, he scores. It took 22 seconds. Oh, oh rusty game. Hoske, it's six nothing. Boy on all day to fire, no mistake. One quick pass. The Cannons are six and three. Standing on top of Major League Lacrosse right now with a 16-10 victory. Damon McEnany along with Paul Carcaterra and Paul, two completely different seasons for the Bayhawks. A four-game losing streak prompting the coaching change. John Tucker out, Brendan Kelly in. What should we expect from Brendan Kelly? Well, Brendan Kelly, high-energy guy. He's a motivator. He's expecting a championship here in Chesapeake. And I expect the Bayhawks to take their A game here. Fury looking to get his hands free. Does so and beats Garrity for the goal. The Lizards lead 1-0 early. Better with a nice move. Gets his hands free and goes with the bouncer to beat Adams. We're all even at one. Tough angle shot. Doesn't matter to Berger. The Lizards are back at 500. 5-5 five and five, while the Bayhawks can't get it going once again. What are your final thoughts? Well, Chesapeake making the coaching change. Brendan Kelly taking over for John Tucker. And now the Lizards rolling. Well, first, you think about Chesapeake, not an easy game for Coach Kelly to come in. You're missing Alex Smith. You're missing Kyle Dixon, the leading two-point goal of the score in Major League Lacrosse. Joe Sanoski, their best shutdown defender. So those guys not in the mix. I think they're going to be a different team next time around. They're still in it mathematically. Week number 11 is most meaningful. Chicago clinches a playoff berth with a win today. Chesapeake has to win by four or more to say the same. Rubio on an inside roll, leaps and scores. Abbott, full blast, fires and scores. Prosnick runs by Sims, goes behind the back. That was beautiful. Up top, Sieverts for two. Bang! Oh my gosh! And the route is on. Everything is going right for Chesapeake. 
Chesapeake will qualify for the postseason, and they'll wait to see who that they will match up with in a three weeks' time back here at Navy Marine Corps Memorial. The 8-3 Boston Cannons playing host to the 5-6 Chesapeake Bayhawks in the final game of the regular season. We could be looking at a semifinal preview here tonight. Rabel sweeping to his left, scores through a tough angle. Championship weekend in two weeks. Kimmel scores! The Bayhawks win! Bayhawk Country. Chesapeake, five-game losing streak, middle of the year. They fired their coach, they tweaked their formula, they won two straight, and guess what? The young team's playing with confidence. Smith on his way to the goal. Boyle inside. Quinzani! Bangs home the first goal of the day. Looking for the late guy, Ben Hunt, who fires to score! Abbott doesn't push it. Reynolds will accelerate and score! Hunt fires! Oh my he cannot be stopped right now. Buchanan dives inside and scores! And they count it! Burke leaving the goal to help his team. Better gets inside and he scores! Better with some insurance. Chesapeake started 2010 in great form. Lost five in a row. Won a couple of big games down the stretch, including one against these Cannons to end regular season play. And they are dispatching the number one seed in semifinal one by the final count of 13-9. Cromwell, Sidewinder, he scores! Heiser fires and scores! Rubio, good luck inside, behind the back, it's Poyon! Smith beat Vlahakis cleanly, Smith on his way, he scores! Inside to Carroll, it's Cavaliers all the way around. Against Pages, pair of 11s, score! Inside, behind the back, it's Poyon again! Carroll alone, off the post, rebound, score! Michael Kimmo! The Chesapeake Bayhawks. Brendan Kelly, their head coach, said live up to your tradition. Be a powerhouse again. They have returned to the winner's circle. In 2025, lacrosse will be a primetime pro sport with babes, hot tubs, and babes. Dress accordingly. The Warrior Shooter Shoe, built for the fastest sport on two feet and the sick lifestyle that comes with it. 2025 starts today. Surprise, surprise, a number four seed wins Major League Lacrosse's championship weekend presented by Warrior. That four seed, the Chesapeake Bayhawks. Joe Beninati and Quint Kesnick with you in Annapolis. This was a very physical battle. It was really a Long Island style game early. Brian Spelina, Nikki Polanco throwing their weight around. Sort through some goal scoring. Zach Greer held up his end of the bargain. Yeah, Cromwell and Greer hook up early. They had a 2-0 lead. Steven Pizer made it 3-2 at the end of the first quarter. Chris Fiore solved Chris Garrity on the extra man. The Lizards were looking good. 4-2 at that stage, but here come the Bayhawks. Ben Rubio would have four assists, twice to Pete Poyon on the inside. That was a huge goal on the power play. Brian Carroll in the high slot. The Bayhawks get so much mojo from their midfielders. Kyle Dixon camped out. You know, they scored five straight in the late third and early fourth quarter, shutting out Long Island for about 19 minutes in that process, uh, they, they turned it up a notch. I felt Long Island may have run out of a little gas. The weekend's Bud Light MVP, a defensive effort from Kyle Hart. I uh, did a great job against Paul Rabel in the semifinals, but uh, uh, overall team defense for Chesapeake was outstanding. Really very, very clean in, in their slide packages. We described it a number of times for the Bayhawks, a roller coaster ride, up and down, up and down, all hands raised right now. Number one for the third time in Major League Lacrosse franchise history. Chesapeake back on top. They dropped the Lizards by the final of 13-9. For Quint Kesnick, for all the men and women in our crew, thanks so much for watching this summer. I'm Joe Beninati.
Bouillon wide. Big shot. Goes high score. Bouillon outside. Bangs him to double digits. Here, Poyon on the pump fake fires and scores. Keep Poyon on outside Whistler from Poyon. It's not how big you are, it's how big you think. You never know what's going to happen, but I'll be there when you figure it out. Brian, rain on.